Hello friends, my name is Tushar and today I'm going to discuss the question text justification. So the question is given a list of words and a limit or number of characters you can print on every line, how do you arrange these words over multiple lines such that the number of empty spaces is evenly distributed? So here I have five uh, strings Tushar, Roy, Likes, to Code and the width of my screen is 10 so I can have only 10 characters on my uh, every line. So how do I arrange these words over multiple lines such that the number of empty spaces is evenly distributed? First, let's look at a greedy way of doing this. So the greedy way says that put as many words as possible on each line and if the next word cannot fit in this line, go to the next line and continue the process. So, So the greedy arrangement for this uh, strings for this list of strings will be to char space and then Roy. So this is total of 10 characters. So we go to the next line, likes two. This is total of eight characters. So we go to the next line, code. Let's look at another alternate arrangement. To char Roy likes to code so we have two arrangements and so now the, now the question is uh, which of this arrangement distributes the empty spaces evenly over multiple lines so let's see how many empty spaces we have on each line so this is total of 10 characters this empty space doesn't count because this is used to separate two words so this has zero empty space because the total length here is 10. This has uh, two empty space because the total length from here to here is eight, five, six, seven, eight. And this has six empty spaces because first four characters and then rest are empty spaces. Let's look at this arrangement. This is six, so this has four empty spaces. This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is one empty space. And this is two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is three empty space. So if we just add up the empty spaces on each of this, so this is nine and this is, this is eight and this is also eight. So this doesn't help because the sum of empty spaces or multiple lines for both the arrangements is same. So let's do another thing. Let's try to do the square of, sum of the square of the empty spaces. So then our thing is zero square plus two square plus six square. And this is four square plus one square plus three square. So this is uh, four plus 36, so this is 40. And this is 16 plus one plus nine, so this is 26. So here, this arrangement is bad, better than this arrangement because this number is less than this number. So, so we are basically going to use the square of the empty spaces on each line, sum of square of empty spaces on each line to measure the badness of the arrangement. As you can see, more the empty spaces on each line, higher the number and square of this number is going to be way worse than the just this number by itself. So uh, how are we are going to solve this? Yes, we are going to use dynamic programming to solve this question. So here I have a 5 cross 5 matrix because I have total of 5 strings. Let's see how I'm going to fill this matrix. So this is a cost matrix. Let's see how this works. So if I'm filling here, zero to zero. So what is the cost of storing strings starting from zero and ending at zero in one line? So if I store Tushar in one line, the total number of empty spaces would be four. So here I'm going to store four of square of four, so that's 16. Let's go here, zero to one. If I was storing zero and one in one line, total number of empty spaces would be zero because this has six space, this takes six spaces, then there's a space between them, and then this takes three spaces, the total of 10 spaces. So number of empty spaces would be zero. So this is zero to one is zero because zero square is zero. Zero to two, Z zero, one, and two. You cannot fit all this in one line. So this value will be infinity. 0 to 3, you cannot fit from 0 to 3 in one line, so this value is also infinity. And 0 to 4, you cannot fit all these words in one line, so this value is also infinite. So let's fill 1 cross 1. 
So one cross one, what is the cost of storing this in one line? So my width is 10, this is three characters, so I'm left with seven characters. So this will store seven square, which is 49. One comma two. So likes is five characters, uh, Roy is three characters, likes is five characters, so three plus five, eight, and then one space between them, so that's nine. So I'm left with one empty, uh, one empty space, so one square is one. One, two, three. One, two, three cannot fit in one line because three plus five is eight plus two, 10, and then two spaces between them is 12. So this is infinite. And one to four also cannot fit in one uh, line. So this is also infinite. Let's look at two, 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 two. So if we just stored likes and one line, I'll be left with five empty spaces because likes is of length five. So five square is 25. Two to three. If I had uh, likes and two on one line, so that is five plus two, seven plus one empty space between them, eight. So I'm left with two empty spaces. So 10 minus two is four. 10 minus two is two and two square is four. And two to four. So this is uh, more than 10 characters. So this is infinite. Let's look at three to three. Three to three, if we store in one line, we'll be left with eight empty spaces. So this is 64. And three to four, if both of them were in one line, so two plus one space between them, three plus four, seven. So, uh, so this is three square, which is nine. And finally, four to four, so this is, uh, this is four, so 10 minus four is six, so this is 36. In my code, to get this, I have two different sets of for loop, so that I can get it done in O of n square time. But here, the way I calculated it, I just did it in one for loop one uh, traversal of this matrix. So next, let's look at how I'm going to use this information to decide from which line we're going to, put, at which point we're going to put the line breakers. So here I have two additional arrays of the same length as the number of strings. This is going to store the minimum cost while this is going to store the final result. Let's start i and j from the end. We could also start i and j from the uh, left and go right, but we here we're going to start i and j from the right and go left. So when i and j is 4, we just have one string 4 and the cost of storing this string is 4 comma 4, so that's 36. And here I'm going to put a value 5 saying that starting from 4 till 5 but not including 5 will be in on one line. Then I decrement my i by 1 and j stays at the end. So first I check is does 3 to 4 exist, can stay in one line. So we go to 3 to 4 and that's 9. So we can have 3 to 4 in one line. So we put a value 9 here and we put a value 5 here. So again saying 3 to 5 will be on one line excluding 5. So then we decrement i by 1 and g again stays at the end. So first thing we check is can 2 to 4 exist in one line. So two to four is infinity. So they cannot exist in one line. So then we have to check at what point we split it. So let's try to split it four. So when j is equal to four, what I'm saying is I'll have something like likes two on one line and code on another line. So the cost of likes two, two to three is four. So the cost of splitting at uh, four is four plus the best we can do from j till the end and that's 36. So the total cost is 40. So if we split from j is equal to 4, the total cost is 40. Let's try to split from j is equal to 3. So when j is equal to 3, I'm saying likes will be on one line and two code will be on another line. Likes, two, code. When we do this arrangement, the cost is 2 to 2, so 2 to 2 is 25, plus the cost from j till the end, so that's 9. So this is 34. So this value is less than, four, so for j is equal to 3, is better than j is equal to 4. So here we'll use this, so 34, and we'll put 3 here. So basically, from starting from 2 till 3, excluding 3 will be one line, then we go to 3, starting from 3 till 5, excluding 5 will be on another line. 
let's decrement i by 1 and g again goes to the end. 0 to 1 to 4 cannot be on one line. So let's try splitting j is equal to 4. If we try splitting j 4, 1 to 3. Can 1 to 3 be on one line? 1 to 3 is also infinity. So we cannot split from, we cannot have raw likes 2 on one line and code on another line. So let's split from j is equal to 3. When we try to split j is equal to 3, what I'm saying is checking the cost of 1 to 2. Cost of having 1 to 2 on one line. So 1 to 2 is 1 plus 3 to 4. So that's 9. Uh, best we can do till j till the end. So that's 9. So this is 10. So when j is equal to 3, the value is 10. And let's try j is equal to 2. So for j is equal to 2, cost of 1, 1. Cost of 1, 1 is 49. Plus the best I can do from j till the end, and that's 34. So this number is going to be greater than this number. So we'll put 3 here. We'll put the minimum cost here. So that's 10, and we'll put 3 here. All right, let's try i is equal to 0 g again goes at the end. 0 to 4 cannot fit in one line so j decrements by 1. 0 to, uh, 0, to uh, 0 to 4 cannot, so 0 to, sorry j stays here. 0 to 3 cannot fit in one line so j decrements by 1. 0 to 2 cannot fit in one line so j again decrements by 1. We are looking for the place to split. So 0 to 1. So 0 to 1 is 0. So when j is equal to 2, the cost is 0 plus the best we can do till this point, that's 34. And let's try j is equal to 1. When j is equal to 1, the cost is 0, 0, so that's 16. Plus the best we can do till 1 from 1 till the end, and that's 10. So this is 34 and this is 26. So j is equal to 1 is better. So this value is 20, the cost is 26 and we say 1. So this is it. The minimum cost to arrange this is 26. And this is, we are going to use this array to get the final result. So let's start from here. So what I'm saying is 0 till 1, but excluding 1 will be on one line. So 0 is Tushar, so Tushar is on one line. Then we go to 1 because this value is 1. So 1 till 3, excluding 3 will be on one line. So Roy likes Then we go to 3. So 3 till end will be on the one line. So 2 code. Again let's calculate the cost here. So the number of empty spaces here is 4. Number of empty space here is uh, 2, 1, because this is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And number of empty space here is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3. Square of them will be 16, 1, and 9. And this value is 26, and our minimum cost was also 26. So this arrangement will be the best arrangement we can do, such that the empty spaces are evenly distributed among multiple lines. Let's analyze the run, uh, time complexity. Space complexity is pretty clear, O of n square. Time complexity is, to build this matrix, if you look at the code, I have split it into multiple for loops and to build this matrix, it'll take O of n square time. And then here we moved i and j, and that also took O of n square time. So the time complexity for this algorithm will also be O of and square. Finally, let's look at the formula for this one. Assuming that I have built my cost matrix C, two dimensional cost matrix, my minimum cost will be M of I is equal to minimum of M of J plus C of I to J minus one where j goes from i plus 1 till the length of the array. The 
full solution for this problem is in the description section of this video. You can also check out my GitHub link, github.com mission piece interview wiki, and you could subscribe my YouTube channel, youtube.com user to show right 2525. Finally, I would like to request the viewers to improve my Git repository by contributing to it. All you have to do is send me a Git pull request and I'll review the change and if the change looks good, I'll pull it in into my Git repository. Alright, thanks for watching this video.